Oh, just a minute. I want to show you something. How could I be on a Welk show and not wear a costume? This is what I will wear when I perform in Dallas the Musical. Some friends of mine, Neela Petrick and Eric Russell, and composer Earl German have been commissioned to write it. And it will tell the stories of the people who made Dallas what it is today, from the earliest settlers to the modern day pioneers of business and art. I've been asked to play Margaret Bryan, the wife of John Neely Bryan, who came to Texas in 1841 and built the first cabin on the banks of the Trinity River at Browder Springs, the original name of the city of Dallas. That small cabin still exists, now at Founders Plaza downtown. Margaret helped her husband battle Indians and mountain lions, lived outdoors in all kinds of weather. And so in the play, when they finish building their small, primitive little cabin, she feels as if she has been given a mansion. In this part of her song, she is reminiscing about living in the wild. Once there was a mountain lion yelling out his roar. Then some Apache warriors knocking at my open door. What a place to be. Oh, what a place to be. Not knowing if they was friendly. I didn't say come in. It was my chickens they was after. Take a move. I shouted then, what a place to be. That's from Dallas, the musical. Now back to the show. The beautiful Jerome Kern song, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes, was introduced in the show Roberta, which featured a young comedian, Bob Hope. It always seems to be making a comeback by such groups as the Platters and Blue Haze. Here's a Bob Ballard arrangement of this great song with George Cates conducting. Thank you. 